Christmas and here's our Merry Christmas tray <laughs> that we have had on XRP as you can see this thing was fantastic uh, A to X this was the short-term trade idea um, I averaged down into this and I took out it, this largest trade of the year for me on a percentage basis and I cleaned up I took out 75% of it back above X uh, when we had that move here and it was at 0 0.3721 and um, I averaged down all the way down to 22 cents I had another orders um, at 18 cents um, a little above 18 18 since 1871 I believe that was um, so I did not get hit on the last one but I did get hit on all these and I averaged it because of the size that I used I went in big on this one um, it, it wound up being around uh, 26 point seven twenty six point six eight uh, so on a percentage basis I mean around uh, almost 40% return um, on this trade uh, so took off 75% I'm letting the other 25% of it run for the target above here very easy this is your high probability trade within the 24 hours I don't have to tell you it was already noted to me that this the, the period of time um, hit perfectly from the when it dropped under that the buy area here and then shifted all the way back up to the target and it was basically almost to the you know exact 24 hours <laughs> that was nice but that that's not what's important the, the trade setup and the manipulation in this this was ridiculous this is uh, very contrived and I'm looking at it going to myself yeah who are the players involved and why would they you know, um, it, it allowed big money to go over and to buy back Ripple at very low prices, at ridiculously low prices. Uh, you have a lot of shorts in this, and, um, you know, they're uh, probably located around this area. I know one of them who traded this and even went long with me uh, after they were short from up here. And, you know, so they cleaned up on this. Now I'm going to have to ask him and make sure that he didn't get emotional and get stupid because unfortunately he's an emotionally driven person like a lot of traders um, and I hope he, he did much better than, you know, uh, and he didn't let his emotions get in the way. We'll say, I'll ask him about that. But uh, anyway, it, it uh, was a perfect trade um, and, uh, you know, Percentage-wise, uh, if you made anywhere from 33 to 40% on this, congratulations. Um, we have a lot of nice trades that are set up and whatnot in the market from the past few weeks. I don't have to tell you about Hex. Uh, you guys know about that. Let's go a four-hour. Yeah, let's go to a daily. And we can see where this is you know the numbers that I'm looking for this is absolutely huge this is more of an out there type of trade and so you know if certain people didn't trade this to any degree I, I don't I'm not surprised because it's a little bit more tricky uh, to get involved in this trade and uh, this is a cross Bitcoin because Bitcoin is so high it's not getting the biggest percentage uh, but again, I don't like it cross Bitcoin. I like it cross uh, Ethereum much better percentage wise. I could see this playing out up to here. So that could be an absolutely huge trade as well. So Ethereum, or if you can get across a dollar, uh, is the absolute best. I don't have to tell you um, percentage wise, this is a huge trade, uh, but also kind of out there, understood. Uh, let's go to SNX, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, I know a few people that bought it as it dropped all the way down to here. Uh, and uh, I believe uh, they were able to get it in this area under where I was buying it. You know, um, that's fantastic. Again, this can go. I love what they do. 
and I'm starting to see their products appear on exchanges. They have wrappers for crypto to stocks. So you can basically trade stocks uh, using crypto on exchanges. And so this is their, their key, um, uh, the, my brain doesn't work too much drinking last night, by the way. Um, that's how their product works is that it allows you to buy stocks using crypto and it appears on an exchange and they have it perfectly wrapped and it's a really great product, you know? So if you want to trade your Apple or Tesla on a crypto exchange, you have the ability to do this. Now in the future, you know, my thing is that this is probably going to be uh, attacked by the, um, those in power you know, on a stock exchanges. They're not going to like this because you're, you found a way to efficiently use crypto to go over and trade stocks, but there's no real backing to it, right? It only goes off of price. So uh, there, that's a fundamental flaw of the, the product itself is um, that, but who cares? I mean, this could go up to the 15, or the, who knows, 20s, you know, so it, it's broken its all time high. Um, if people wanted to take half, you know, just to not ha incur any losses in the future in case anything goes crazy, but that depends on how they trade it. I, I did not participate huge in, in size. It's kind of, uh, uh, this is kind of an out there one as well, but still a really good trade. We can see how it's turned out. Um, Bitcoin, we already know about that. It is just, there's a fundamental issue with it. I told you about that. I might trade that differently in the future, but that doesn't mean there won't be a pullback. Don't, don't go crazy on me here just because prices are high. Um, you know, I, I'm hedged the maximum allocation that I can. Uh, I showed you in the last video, one to one hedge. I'm, I'm not going to explain that again. Uh, there's no drama to it. It just is what it is. I never bet against Bitcoin other than what I have looking at, to lock in the value. And then as we, we, when we get back down to here, then, um, you know, I'll close out the shorts and I'll just be up here long, but that hasn't happened yet. I'm not going to, uh, uh, belabor that and, and keep going on about it. We have a plethora of opportunities across the market space. I see a couple of setups I'm watching. There's about three of them total. We'll see which ones pan out. Uh, one of them I think could be XRP like in nature. So we'll see. Uh, but I'm not going to talk about those until they are ready. So until, you know, I see them on the grapes on the vine and they're perfectly shaded and they look perfect. And, you know, I, I'm, I don't need to go on about it. Uh, XRP, you know, um, 75% of it, of my absolute huge size that I took. I told you guys about, um, I exited above that, uh, 0.3721 number a to X purely mathematical. I, I said the, all the dynamics, all the, the math was, and it did it perfectly. And it was like, this is the, the Chris, the trade of the year is the only way I'll put it outside of that. The 25% I'm holding for above this number here. Uh, I believe we can get that and we'll see often what happens after a to X is you a good percentage of the time numbers will return to the baseline, which would probably be around the 26 number before they decide to keep going up or keep going lower. So, um, the least amount of risk is the a to X, anything that you bought above there. If you took that trade within that period of time, you're, you know, uh, it, that, that was the trade. Uh, outside of that, if you want the swing trade, you know what I'm looking for all the way back up to here could be a counter hedge against Bitcoin, any of the shorts that you hold on Bitcoin that are hedged. Um, and again, um, we're doing great. Merry Christmas. I will update you guys later in the week and see if any of those plays develop as uh, time goes on going towards the new year. And, uh, that'll be next. Alrighty. Have a great weekend. Again, Merry Christmas, guys.